Hey, it's me, Jay Evans, and it is time for us to talk the talk where we talk about any and everything. And what are we about to talk about? <sighs> Get ready, the half and have nots. Right, I'm reviewing the half and have nots. Now, I know my apple pies, those are my subscribers, are used to me doing marrying millions. But guess what? I thought it was going to be another episode. No, it's over to January, baby. So I got to give us something to talk about. So I watched the half and half nights, and people um, hit me up and said, Jay Evans, review another show. Um, Mary and Millions is over. You want it, you ask for it. Here it go. Ask and what ye shall receive, baby. Now, I love giving this disclaimer, even though this show is a made-up show, but in case I say something or touch on a celebrity, let me roll this disclaimer to you and yours. All topics are alleged and allegedly. They are strictly for gossip and entertainment purposes. So don't come for me saying, oh, Jay Evans, I'm going to sue you. No, if I touch on somebody in real life, I'm going to say allegedly because I don't need you trying to come for me. I don't need you trying to sue me, baby, because the only thing I own outright is this highlighter and I need it for my note cards and this paper clip. If you want those two things, Guess what, baby? You can have it, okay? So, let me say that this is the last two episodes coming up. But I'll start reviewing this show, The Half and Half Nights, because I like Hannah and them. And I love Veronica Harrison because she is a villain. And I love a good villain, baby. Okay? But if you have not watched me do Mary and Millions, click that description. I do those reviews. And I'll be sure... To touch on other shows, that's right, Jay Evans is going to take over YouTube. I'm naming it and claiming it, baby. Now, another show that I will be reviewing is Real Housewives of Atlanta. I've been watching it since season one. I know a lot of people do reviews, but guess what? <laughs> Jay Evans does it his way. Like Frank Sinatra, I did it my way. I'm going to do it my way, baby. So let's roll into this episode of the Half and Half Nights. Now, this episode opened up with Benny confronting Derek. Now, Benny, y'all saw his shirt and his body was bulging and Derek was in the truck and he was looking like, you remember the, the cuckoo clock that used to be on the cartoons? It was a cat and the eyes used to move and the tail used to wag. That's how Derek was looking like, do I owe him some money? Like, what what is he doing? Benny asked him, did you rape my mama? And he was kind of like, cuckoo, cuckoo clock. But then he said it, and then Benny barred his fist up like the grandma say in Soul Food, the movie, and struck a mighty blow and just, bam, took him down to the ground, baby. All the way down, like downtown Julie Brown. He took him down, and Derek said he was not going to fight back. Now, Benny monkey stumped him with that right then and there. And um, he told him to get in the truck. Derek tried to apologize, but Benny was not having it, okay? Now, if y'all don't know, Benny also plays um, Diamond on P-Valley at the Pink. I think I like him a little bit more at the Pink. And did y'all know, if you've been watching the Have and Have Nots, the character Quita Maxwell, y'all remember Quita when she was like, hey, they told me you can find Q with the tracking device. Y'all remember Quita, boom, Quisha. She is on P-Valley too. Did y'all know that, Apple Pies? I liked her um, on the Have and Have Nots. And she's cool on the P-Valley, but Quita gave me boom, Quisha, and I was here for it. Now, after that, um, they rolled to Jeffrey Madison and Kobe, the boy that walked in on Jeffrey at um, Madison's apartment when he was coming out the shower, they all had lunch. Now, let me tell you something. If you walk in on me and this is somebody I'm dating, we're not about to sit down and break bread. I know this is a, a soap opera, but Jeffrey, Tyler Perry, come get Jeffrey and rewrite his part, okay? I need you to do more with Jeffrey. Jeffrey is always stagnant it's always the same jeffrey needs to either either you're gonna be a goody two shoes or you're gonna be a bad guy but stop being in the middle because they're not doing anything with him 
I really want Jeffrey to be a little sluttacious, okay? Yes, that's the word. I need you to be a little more sluttacious. But Tyler Perry, come get him and rewrite his part. Now, Madison went back to work or wherever he was going. Madison and got buffed this season. Do y'all remember what he looked like last season? Now he's giving me like hawk incredible hawk and he's swollen thick and i'm here for because you look good to me hey like sherelle used to sing you look good to me madison is looking good oh yes now i don't know about kobe because he's a little too dramatic for me and kobe you make every uh gay stereotype come true for us kobe i i'm pulling your skittles back because you you too much now your chest is nice I don't know if you worked out and got that or if you got on somebody's dining room table and they injected you with cement or whatever. Your chest is nice, but you too much. Um, now, he left them. Bad move. You don't never leave somebody you messing with and somebody else. Now, um, at that point, <laughs> Kobe told Jeffrey to do a lady a favor and pay the bill. Kobe, you are a boy. Even though you, I don't know, I guess you want to be a bottom, but you are still a man, Kobe. You are a sour cheese. That's what you are. Now, then he told him, um, they talked about Veronica, and he said that they were going to head over Veronica's house. And then Kobe kept calling her up. Uh, Jeffrey, you better take up for your mama now. You and Kobe ain't slept together or nothing, so Kobe can't be calling Veronica um, those B words. Because Veronica is my favorite character. Um, then it went to Benny talking to Hannah about him beating down Derek because he beat him down with that one mighty blow. And then Hannah told him that, um, Derek said he has changed. God has changed him and she believes that, that, that who, that's who he is now. And then she asked Benny, when are you going to give Jim his money back? Money, 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 money. Jim got you scared, Hannah. You better get a little bit more street. Now, the lawyer, Al, came by. Al looked nice. And he basically um, was telling Hannah that she now has power of the money. She can put that in her account. But I don't think Hannah's going to do that. She's saved and sanctified, and she loves the Lord, baby. Now, then it rolled over into Landon, Charles, and Oliver. Now, I think Jeffrey should have been with Landon. They had that one entanglement, like August Alcina and Jada Pickett-Smith. They should have kept Tyler Perry. Do something with Jeffrey. I didn't do something with Jeffrey's character, Tyler Perry. Um, so it went over into Oliver and Landon talking. They had a little exchange. I don't know, Apple Pies, if they're going to have an entanglement because they're always at each other's throats. Um, from that, another guy came over and basically exposed Oliver, um, saying things about the father and that there was a coke deal. Now, also, Charles, the president-elect, bust in and walked in on them. And I think um, that Landon knew he was setting him up. And he heard Oliver talking crazy about Candace. And Charles is not here for it because he's still in love with Candace. And I think Landon is in love with Charles. I just know he does not want um, Charles to monkey stump him again. So he's trying to play it the right way. I think he's trying to seduce him. He's gotten in good with those rug rats. And that's his angle. I'm mad at you, Landon. Now, Landon's character is a little bit um, more spicy. So I do appreciate Tyler Perry writing that part for Landon. Okay? Then it went over um, to Trevor and Harry. Those are Kobe's friends. They came over to his little house, and they sat down and talked about Veronica. Like I said, I love Veronica. I love a good villain, baby, okay? I could be a villain. Now, they rolled over into them talking about her, and all I could think of is the climate song. It's a meeting in the ladies' room. Uh, 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 I'll be back real soon. <sighs> okay, throw y'all skittles in the air. I'm, I'm going to push y'all over the rainbow because I'm on it with y'all. Now, then they went um over to Veronica's house. At this point, Veronica was having a flashback of her and David, like, at the good times. And then it rolled over into all of Veronica. Bad times, her setting the house on fire with David in the house and 
you know, just all her drama. I'm here for Veronica, a villain. Let me tell you why I love a good villain. A villain is the star on the low. Did y'all know that apple pies? Without a villain, there's no conflict. There's no need for a hero to solve a problem. If I was going to be in a movie or if I was going to be on a show, guess who Jay Evans would want to be? The villain! Because I'm going to just be so evil to you want to slap me if you see me. A good villain will make you forget that it's just a role. And when you see them in person, you want to slap them. Okay? You want to beat them down. That's how you know you're a good actor. I can do that. Now, Veronica is my favorite. And David... David is scrumptious, diddy umptious, okay? He got me singing like heavy D, bum, diddly, diddly, diddly. David is fine, baby. Veronica, if you don't want him, sis, send him over to my way. Because you look good to me. <laughs> David looks good, baby. Now, after the flashback scene, um, what was funny to me is when they all got into the pool, all of a sudden they realized that Samuel was there. Like, oh, who are you? Y'all start taking off y'all clothes and y'all just realized the pool man was right there. Tyler Perry. Write your stuff better, baby. Now, at this point, Samuel goes in the house and tells Veronica. Um, the, the guy, Kobe, asked him, you don't want to join the party? Kobe, you was being a little extra. Um, look at me, look at me. And then he said, well, yeah, sure, you're straight. Now, at this point, um, they were giving me late. Ladies night vibe. Y'all remember cooling gang? Oh yes, it's ladies night. Then Kim remade it and our rhymes is tight. Oh yes, it's lady. Those ladies were about to get in that pool, okay? And Jeffrey just stood up like, I'm not with these sugar cookie, funny bunny, fruit roll up, brownie deluxe. It's Jeffrey said, I'm still a man about mine. Y'all going to get in the pool and y'all be sis. So at that point, they got in the pool and they were being sis. Veronica comes out um, and Veronica says, get out the pool. Veronica is ready, baby. Um, At that point, Apple Pies, because, you know, the last 10 minutes of the half and half nights is the best. Um, Veronica goes in to get her gun. And that's where we end it. Jeffrey tells them to get out. Then next week, it shows Veronica calling, saying that she knows something is up with Samuel. Veronica knows a trap. Remember, I think it was in season two when she set the lady up and had the lady go in the house. And they thought it was Veronica and the lady got killed. <laughs> Pay attention. Now, it also shows the lawyer telling Hannah about the money that she can get. Um, And what else? It, it, it shows why they're talking about why they didn't show Catherine. We know Catherine is, is still in jail. Okay. Tyler Perry will have a whole season out of one day. Did y'all know like two seasons ago, we still on the same week. We ain't came off that week. They haven't even had the trial for Veronica. They ain't dug Q up and finished the rest of the stuff. We know Candace got out of that because the house exchanged, but it's still unanswered questions. Wide is about to get cut, okay, in the new episode. That's what the preview show. But Wide was the same one that laid on the bed for a whole season, and they said he was dead. Nobody touched him or checked him, and then we found out, oh, Wide's alive. Tyler Perry, do I need to come write for you? Does Jay Evans need to come write and act for you? Because sometimes I don't know if you get lazy or if you get tired, but I do know you always manage to pull some muscular, good-looking guys in your mix now you got that master tyler i need you to master your stories but i'm here for veronica he does great with that um and i'm here for candace they didn't show candace so hopefully they'll show her hopefully they'll show the rest of what goes on with celine and we got two more episodes left tyler loves cutting this stuff up tyler just give us full through the year and do it like the school year. We have, you know, nine months in and let us out during the summertime. I think that's what you need to do, Tyler Perry. Somebody show Tyler Perry this, show Tyler Perry this and do something with Jeffrey Tyler Perry because we tired of him lagging. Listen, if you're not one of my apple pies, that is my subscribers. So click that subscribe button. Set your notifications so that you'll see when I go ahead and give you a new video. You can look in my playlist. I run my mouth about any and everything. It's all there for you. So next week, I will do another review on the half and have nots. 
Like I said, coming up, I'm going to be doing Real Housewives of Atlanta and Marion, um, not Marion Mews. Well, I'm doing Marion Mews when it comes back, of course, but I'm going to be doing um, Married to Madison. Can't even think, baby. Married to Madison, I'll be doing that. The Atlanta one. <laughs> Not that other one. The Atlanta one, okay? So, y'all stay tuned. Those are the shows I'm going to be reviewing. And maybe if you have suggestions, if you want to throw in another show, because these are shows I watch and I'm familiar with, but I'm open to reviewing other shows. So, y'all let me know what y'all think. So, with that being said, baby, it's only one thing left for me to say. We've talked the talk. Now it's time to walk the walk.